<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2022 Fountain Hill State of the Town Address. Thank you to staff and the Times and the Chamber of Commerce, of course, who together with the town and support of our generous sponsors, Roof King, H HS3 General Contracting, Bashes, and of course, SRP are hosting this year's event. I'm happy to see you all here. Uh, after last year, it's wonderful to, um, to be together. I'm honored to be your mayor and to represent the entire community. I remain driven to be open and communicative in that role, which I take very seriously. I do my best to be prepared to address the critical issues of the town, whether in public meetings, at presentations like this, or while engaged in personal communications with those who have questions and great ideas. Along with council members, Verdell, Grzybowski, Magazine, McMahon, Sharnow, and Spelich, we remain committed to providing strategic leadership and policy direction. In concert with Manager Miller, and the town staff, council continues to provide information, innovation, and dedication, even during a very challenging time. It remains important that we mark the achievements of the past and address the upcoming goals and challenges. As has been our most recent tradition, not only will I provide perspective as your mayor, but the town manager, the directors, and our professional staff will present information about their specific areas of responsibility in a video. I'm here today to tell you that we've lived up to our plans and our goals for 2021 and built a solid framework for 2022 and beyond. To borrow the title of a special book, right, that is about the history of Fountain Hills, the state of the town is rising above. Your municipal government and community leaders are effective and active. The town is prepared. As we speak today, constituents have a voice. Elected leaders are engaged and they serve in a variety of capacities, several particularly in economic development. Committee and commission support is ongoing. Volunteers and the Leadership Academy help shape outcomes and staff is very responsive. As the town continues to grow, with 25,000 residents occupying more than 20 square miles, we note more than half the town is zoned residential. Another nearly 25% is designated open space. We have a robust roadway network of more than 162 miles. There are over 3,260 total active business licenses in the community. 1,173 of those are within the town of Fountain Hills, and around 2,100 are issued to out-of-town businesses. It's a lot of activity. Our nonprofits, our service, and our faith-based organizations continue to serve us very well. New construction projects and infill are increasing and as we all know, home values continue to rise. Do you notice a common theme in these uh, lists that we're putting together? Well, Fountain Hills, we are all about people. You may recall at this address last year, during the peak of COVID, that I said that the state of the town was determined with all eyes on moving forward. It was and still is a challenge. We've lost friends and loved ones. Some have had their own health suffer or they face changes in their jobs or had their educations disrupted. It's been confusing and painful at times, but we also had moments and pockets of relief and optimism. I imagine that history, books, medical books, sociology, articles, and movies will be unfolding and plentiful throughout this decade to talk about what we've all been experiencing. A year ago, I also commented that, that some things in our everyday life had been changed forever, that we could look ahead with hope that many would be back soon. And 2021 certainly proved that to be true, considering today you can imagine. So let's review the work that we've accomplished and set the stage for what's upcoming. Fountain Hill's mission statement guides us. I don't know how many of you see it, but uh, I will read it. Fountain Hill's purpose is to serve the community's best interests by providing for its safety and well-being, by respecting its special small town character and quality of life, by providing superior public services, sustaining the public trust through open and responsive government, and maintaining the stewardship and preservation of our financial and our natural resources. While focus remains on our collective health and well-being, we delivered on several of those fronts. For instance, public safety. 
From pandemic management to traffic issues to fire prevention, our volunteers, staff, including MCSO and Rural Metro, commissioners, council, and standing committees all rose above, dedicated to helping us through a year that was marked with uncertainty, and that was greatly appreciated. We created a safety corridor, a safety corridor surrounding the downtown area to emphasize the importance of responsible driving. New crosswalks were installed, other items were done to help with the traffic issues in town, and as you may have noticed, enforcement has become a priority. Also, we're conducting assessments of our overall public safety delivery, and that should be, uh, results should be expected in the next couple of months. The town continues to be a leader in several areas of government operations. Financially, with the additional support of CARES and ARPA dollars, we've been able to reinvest other funds to accelerate improvements necessary to our long-term health of our town services, our infrastructure, and our economic uh, activity. With unanimous council consent, we all rose above and passed complex noise and sign ordinances, plus a comprehensive plan for addressing sponsorships and partnerships on events and activities that use public facilities. We granted no-cost business license grace periods, allowed for extension of premises for restaurants, and successfully distributed grants to help businesses offset their COVID expenses and loss of revenue. We recently launched a similar opportunity for nonprofits organizations to assist with their revitalization. For the 12th straight year, again, thanks to staff, Fountain Hills was awarded excellence in financial management recognition as represented by the Comprehensive Financial Audit Report, which you call the CAFR. The CAFR for 2021 confirmed that the town's healthy financial condition with expenditures below budget and a welcome carryover to this new fiscal year. Again, congratulations to our staff and council for that accomplishment. As stated several times, we have not used nor budgeted the federal relief dollars for any ongoing or operational expenses. The town may be in the best financial condition in recent history. The annual performance review of our town manager was conducted, assessing identified goals and objectives for 2021 and the future. Manager Miller received a high rating reflective of his work with council and mayor with local and regional partners and his staff to achieve meaningful accomplishments. The adjustment in salary brought Mr. Miller's compensation more in line with his current professional colleagues and commensurate with his success as confirmed not only by his valuation, but what you are hearing today. Sensible growth, talk about growth. It continues with significant building projects, relocations and expansions. The increase in downtown residential inventory is remarkable with the opening of the Havenly and other smaller but very significant developments in the leasing market. Infill continues, condos, mixed use, single and multifamily homes are planned or being constructed throughout the community. Potential business, restaurant, shopping center and hospitality ideas are currently in the mix. The opening of the Fountain Hills Medical Center and the ER to include a full hospital and the soon to be complete Honor Health facility are some of the highlights of this communications. So we promise to improve communications through a variety of means. Constituents and visitors will notice an improved web design and accessibility at our new address, which is AZ, it's fountainhillsaz.gov now. We have upgraded technology at Town Hall for live and streaming meetings and events. We produce the quarterly In the Loop mailer and the Fountain Hills Insider. At the end of 2020, we hired I think this is a good thing to say, a seasoned professional, to help guide and increase our communication efforts internally and about town. Seasoned is a good thing, Bo. <laughs> this past year, we expanded our outreach with regional and national news outlets, as well as continued our strong relationship with the Fountain Hills Times. Social media continues to grow and be a valuable resource of information for many people. This year, we added Instagram to our official sites to uh, include Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. In 2021, we developed a new engagement policy to lay out a roadmap for improved communications between the town, the businesses, and the residents. Fountain Hills webcam became an instant hit this year. 
Already nearly four million people from around the country and world have tuned in to see our beautiful fountain park and of course our famous fountain. Planning. Planning remains a hallmark of staff, council, and citizen volunteer responsibilities. Examples include the strategic plan, Vision Fountain Hills, parks, pavement, sidewalk, and active transportation plans, the capital asset replacement strategy, the budgeting process, of course, legislative advocacy, and participation in domestic violence, Proposition 400 transportation renewal, and attainable housing regional efforts. We're guided by our general plan and the Swabeck Downtown Visioning Project, both voter approved with land use and town center goals that appropriately influence our development and our public works discussions and decisions. I continue to support robust thinking and modeling that can lead our town into the future. As mentioned earlier, two important policy decisions gained unanimous support from the council working as a team. The town now has a new sign ordinance that represents not only a compromise effort with the business community, but a collaborative effort with elected leaders to make sure that all voices were heard, ensuring that our community maintains its welcoming look and feel in conjunction with the Supreme Court ruling. And we have a new noise ordinance that reflects the growing need to manage sound in our community. Together with input from MCSO, our town attorney, and our prosecutor, the council was able to create an, an enforceable ordinance in response to the need to address the potential disturbance of our peaceful desert home environment. Coordination is always important. Coordination with entities is a big part of town government. The Mayor's Youth Council is in full swing with joint programs and presentations. We revived the Student of the Month program and the recognition, uh, which is a former leadership project in conjunction with the Fountain Hills Unified School District. The town continues to work with the Sanitary District on project coordination, including the creation of a sodium mitigation working group. We partner with Fort McDowell, Yavapai Nation, and with the Salt River, Maricopa, Pima uh, Indian community on several issues, including flight, plan flight plans, marketing, and of course, tourism. We have increased representation down at the Capitol now with a governmental relations liaison contract. So being connected to our state, our municipal, county, and tribal leaders, it's critical to Fountain Hills positions, not only at home, but in the Valley. So speaking of at home, now I'd like to emphasize the importance of our quality of life and our hometown character with supporting amenities that, as you know, are a large part of the town's stated visions. The community center, Library, museum, all underwent significant renovations. We saw improvements in our roads to Golden Eagle, Desert Vista, and Four Peaks Parks, the growth of tiny libraries, a new Valley Metro bus service, additions to our sidewalk connectivity, and the rebuild and the expansion of the Splash Park. Many of these were supplemented by grants and by partner agencies. Fountain Hills government and the private sector continue to host many events and activities that provide those hometown opportunities to gather, talk, and enjoy. The town hosted Fountain Hills Cares, a forum to discuss important issues relevant to our residents, to our families, and to our businesses. The chamber sponsored fair was back with energy and confidence. Our 4th of July celebration went forward along with Oktoberfest, Halloween at Four Peaks Park this year. Thanksgiving Day Parade, and Breakfast with Santa, Stroll in the Glow, and that's just to name a few. And despite incredible odds, we rose above as our 50th anniversary of the fountain was celebrated in several ways, including the illumination of the fountain with our new upgraded LED colored lights and burying a time capsule, which is to be opened in 2045, so be there. <laughs> It's important to me that town leadership continues to focus on quality of life and keeps Fountain Hills extraordinary. Each of the aforementioned categories, public safety, financial stability, growth, communications, planning, and coordination all contribute in some way to making sure that residents and our guests enjoy living and visiting here. It's what they expect by being part of this community. I remember what it was like to move to Fountain Hills in 1983 and I want those that are here that came before me and those who have followed to experience the same welcoming feelings about our community. It takes effort and vision 
It takes qualified leadership at all levels, along with the research and the thoughtful consideration that go into our policy-making decisions. It's a collective effort where even the intangibles can make a difference. We were recently asked at a council meeting to please listen to our constituents. Later that same evening, an item came, an item came up where, with conflicting input from those same residents, which of course is going to be the case in a community that's lucky enough to have citizens that care. So I believe that this council very much makes decisions in good faith. We hit, we may miss a couple, but as you will see now, this has been a year of working together successfully. I'm again thankful for what our staff has been able to accomplish, impressive tasks even under normal circumstances. Now here is a staff review of 2021. Like the previous year, 2021 was not a year anyone could have anticipated. Like our region, the COVID-19 pandemic affected residents and staff alike in one form or another. While the worldwide pandemic forced many difficult decisions to be made by the town, I'm proud to say that essential services and projects kept moving forward. Despite its small size and limited staffing, the Town of Fountain Hills managed to safely deliver services and capital projects to our residents and business customers to be as close as possible to business as usual. While the year 2021 was a year of apprehension and uncertainty, I am proud to say that our departments and staff team not only made the best of it, but even experienced significant accomplishments. Here is an overview of the fantastic work accomplished by the Town Found Hills during 2021. The Town of Fountain Hills Public Works Department takes pride in maintaining necessary infrastructure with limited financial resources and staff. Always on call, the department oversees roads, town-owned washes, and town facilities to ensure they are secure and safe for residents and visitors. Built and installed before the town's incorporation in 1989, the Panorama Storm Drain had 30 years of corrosion and sediment built up within the system causing large leaks and ruptures which created sinkholes. The 3,000-foot system along Panorama Drive desperately needed replacing and the project was completed in February. With only $2 million per year received from a combination of the Highway Users Revenue Fund, or HERF, vehicle license tax, and the general fund, the road resurfacing of streets in Fountain Hills is a never-ending project for public works. The town follows best management practices for pavement management. The Public Works Department is responsible for operating and maintaining town-owned washes, dams, public grounds, and median landscaping. Annually, crews clean town-owned washes of invasive plants to help water flow naturally during significant rain events. The thinning of vegetation also reduces the potential spread of wildfires. Last year, the town forces addressed 208 acres of washes. During the 2021 monsoon season, the town removed over 600 tons of sediment and debris from roadways, sidewalks, and walking paths. Thanks to an enhanced rebate program through the Salt River Project, where SRP covered most of the cost of installation, the town has installed two dual-port electronic charging stations, one at the Fountain Hills Park and the other at the Community Center. Two, two, one. Yay! Valley Metro and the town held a special ribbon cutting event in October to launch a new bus service for Fountain Hills. The 515 bus service provides two daily trips from Fountain Hills with connector links to downtown Mesa, Light Rail, and downtown Phoenix. Thanks to a recently completed pedestrian crosswalk on Suaro Boulevard at Tower Drive, residents now have safe pedestrian and bicycle access to Desert Vista Park. The new crosswalk features an overhead solar-powered pedestrian crossing flashing beacon system and street lighting to alert drivers of people crossing the road. The streets department also added reflective pavement markings and painted crosswalk keyboards to the roundabout at La Montana and Avenue of the Fountains and at the intersection of Palisades and Golden Eagle Boulevard, again for pedestrian safety.
The global pandemic may have slowed some businesses down. Still, it didn't seem to slow the activities of the Development Services Department. The Development Services Department provides various functions to ensure that the town grows smartly and safely. 2021 was a busy year for the issuance of building permits and construction in Fountain Hills. There were 79 permits issued for single-family homes, which is 40 more than the previous fiscal year. Multifamily homes are showing an increase as well with 99 issued permits. 2021 was a year to upgrade and renovate. There were 543 permits issued for projects such as additions, pools, fences, and tenant improvements, a 63% increase from the previous year. The Havenly Fountain Hills started construction in the town center and is nearing completion of its first units. This upscale rental community features single level and two-story homes. With so much building and growth, Development Services added an online tool to make permitting more efficient for the contractor as well as for town staff. Town's Online Permitting and Planning System, or TOPS, allows developers and contractors to file an application or check on the status of an application electronically. It also saves applicants money by not needing to print copies of their plans. The Active Transportation Plan was adopted, which will guide future decisions and investments for improved pedestrian and bicycle transportation modes in the town. As part of its function to ensure that the town grows smartly and safely, the department processed several text amendments to the Town Code and Zoning Ordinance for Town Council approval. The Community Services Department is always busy providing an array of recreational classes, special events, social programs, and senior activities for residents of Fountain Hills. The team's hard work is appreciated locally and recognized as one of the nation's best. The American Academy for Park and Recreation Administration, in partnership with the National Recreation and Park Association, named the Town of Fountain Hills a finalist for the 2021 National Gold Medal Awards for Excellence in Park and Recreation Management. To ensure the department and town decision makers prioritize resource allocation decisions for new facilities and rehabilitation projects, programs and services in a fiscally and publicly supported manner, the Town Council approved the Community Services Master Plan in 2021. As part of a multi-year renovation effort to upgrade town parks and facilities, Four Peaks Park saw a variety of improvements. Some of these projects included the building of a walking path, new shade structures including the Green Monster Shade Canopy, new public access entrance from the south end of the park, new gaming area with cornhole and ping pong, and the town's first three pickleball courts. Desert Vista Park saw several improvements this past year as well. Staff started a turf renovation program to begin eliminating weeds and burrs while improving the turf quality. Thanks to a generous donation by Musco Lighting, a mini-pitch multi-purpose soccer field was installed. At the skate park at Desert Vista Park, a new lighting system was installed, allowing skaters to use the facility after dark. The Desert Vista Dog Park is seeing upgrades with a generous donation by A-Dog to fund three replacement shade structures. Golden Eagle Park set a new record for the number of tournaments held at the ball fields and is now recognized as a destination ballpark for softball and baseball programs. Upgrades at Golden Eagle Park included painting, shade structures, removal of invasive plants, and an updated irrigation system which improved the quality of the turf. Fountain Park had a replacement play structure installed for the two to five year old crowd, as well as the start of construction on a new splash pad and playground. One of the most recognized projects for community services in 2021 was the renovation of the community center. The center is home to various classes, physical fitness programs, conferences, art classes, home delivered meals, support groups, adult and youth recreation programs, durable medical equipment services, and special events. In addition, the facility is available for weddings and special weekend functions. The center closed for the summer for this major remodeling project, which included painting the complete interior, remodeling the restrooms, installing new flooring throughout the building, replacing and upgrading audiovisual equipment, new furnishings, a new front desk, countertops and classrooms, and improvements to the stormwater drainage system at the front entrance. 
Fountain Hills continues to be a destination for art lovers. The town has more than 150 pieces in its collection and added a new sculpture in 2021 with Who Rescued Who installed at Fountain Park. Large special events made a triumphant return in 2021 with precautions in place due to the pandemic. In the spring, the greening of the fountain was back. Since the 2020 event was canceled, there was extra green dye available to run the green show two times, at noon and again at 5 p.m. With the new LED lighting system for the fountain, the town enjoyed a green display at night, too. Music Fest attracted thousands to Fountain Hills for the fun of listening to great music and partying with neighbors. Fourth of July was a welcome celebration for more than 20,000 who came to Fountain Park to watch a tremendous fireworks display in beautiful Fountain Hills. The Chamber of Commerce was able to bring back some of the community's signature events back this year with their spring and fall art shows. Oktoberfest brought back the polka enthusiasm and the return of the Thanksgiving Day Parade with a new route around the Avenue of the Fountains was a big hit for an enthusiastic crowd. Thanksgiving morning is always a special occasion for family and friends, especially if you are part of the 31st annual Turkey Trot. Programs and services continued to adapt to the needs of the community and the uncertainty of the pandemic. Residents were more than ready to get back into the game after the community center remodel and the easing of the pandemic restrictions. The Mayor's Youth Council worked on two projects to try and solve a need they saw in the town. The group worked to bring about the Golden Rule Proclamation, and they produced a mental health awareness campaign and online webinar. Make a Difference Day showed another outpouring of support for our neighbors. 336 volunteers worked on 37 residential projects, pulling weeds, trimming trees, and raking yards. Fountain Hills Middle School was also a beneficiary of the generous time of volunteers. In all, more than 1,600 service hours were contributed. The Home Delivered Meals program continues to make a difference by delivering 4,138 meals in 2021 to 70 individuals of all ages living in Fountain Hills who require meal assistance. The Town of Fountain Hills Finance Department follows the principles of sound financial management through a framework of overall fiscal planning and management. By following these principles, the town's financial health is enhanced, as well as its image and credibility with its citizens, the public in general, bond rating agencies, and investors. Each year, the town develops and adopts a balanced budget based on priorities identified by citizens, council members, and town staff. This process represents numerous hours of work and dedication. The result of this hard work can be seen when comparing the budgeted and actual amounts for the town's operating revenues and expenditures. The town relies heavily on the transaction privilege tax to fund operations, and this revenue can be difficult to estimate since it is dependent on sales of products and services within the town. Because of this, the town takes a conservative approach to revenue budgeting in order to ensure adequate financial resources to cover budgeted expenditures. In 2021, the town received federal funds through the American Rescue Plan for financial support during the pandemic. Town Council allocated these funds to pay for the town's contracted police and fire services, which in turn allowed for additional revenues to be saved in the general fund. Despite the ongoing global pandemic, the town collected more revenue in the general funds than was budgeted. In addition, the town's operating expenditures were less than the amount budgeted. The resulting difference between the actual revenues and actual expenditures was transferred to the Capital Improvement Fund at the end of the fiscal year. The town's finance division continues to add to its long list of awards for financial reporting. These include the 25th Consecutive Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for its Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, and 19th Consecutive Distinguished Budget and Presentation Award, and the 9th Consecutive Popular Annual Financial Reporting Award. The Economic Development and Tourism Department continued its support of local businesses while marketing the town to attract new businesses and visitors. As our region and community began to rebound from 2020, the town charged ahead in business attraction and tourism promotion, 
with the department's emphasis on attracting health and wellness providers and enhancing retail and restaurants. The town saw a number of new businesses and expansions during the year, including Zob Thai Kitchen, Bachelor's Pad Barbecue, Pearl Nutrition and Energy, and Align Health, and the Fountain Hills Medical Center, which opened its first phase with great fanfare in 2021. Located near Shea and Saguaro Boulevards, the 12,000 square foot facility provides emergency room, urgent care, and pharmacy services. In 2021, Fountain Hills partnered with EarthCam, a worldwide leader in providing live streaming webcams to provide views of our world famous fountain. To date, more than 3 million people from all over the world have viewed our live feed. Tourism is one of Arizona's most critical economic drivers, with people from around the nation and the world coming to enjoy Arizona's weather and many events. Winter visitors and tourists are essential to the economy of Fountain Hills. In addition to the part-time residents, visitors come to Fountain Hills to experience the fountain, art festivals, special events, beautiful scenery, and hiking adventures. The town helps to attract visitors through promotional campaigns and publications that ensure they know about the town when they visit. A significant portion of tourism marketing is funded from grants through the Arizona Office of Tourism, Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community, and the Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation. To help raise awareness of Fountain Hills as a location to start a business, visit, dine and shop, and raise a family, the town produced a variety of marketing and advertising materials. These campaigns were not only designed to target regional audiences, but national as well. A focus during the year was promoting the town as a great place to safely stay active during the pandemic. This included highlighting our outstanding outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and golf, as well as being a gateway to nearby water sports. Billboard print and video ads were produced and displayed at our local airports. Print advertising campaigns were executed in regional and national publications. We continued our efforts to develop relationships in Canada, advertising in a Canadian magazine that targets snowbirds. Social media campaigns targeted those relocating from other states, including California and Midwestern markets. The town also created a presence at some of our region's nationally recognized events, such as the Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction, Waste Management Open, and Major League Baseball Spring Training. The Town of Fountain Hills contracts with Rural Metro Fire to provide fire and emergency services. The Fountain Hills Rural Metro Fire Department is made up of a dynamic body of men and women who work to ensure the safety of Fountain Hills residents. The fire department continues to respond to COVID and COVID related calls. The department helped to facilitate three pop-up vaccination clinics with the support of the Community Center and Maricopa County Emergency Management. Fountain Hills Fire Department responded to area brush fires and worked with area agencies to combat fires before they became a danger to the town. To raise awareness about the risk of wildfires, the department produced a video and created a social media campaign to educate the community about protecting property. The Town of Fountain Hills contracts with the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office to provide law enforcement services. The goal of the department for 2021 was to increase their visibility in the community to serve as a deterrent to individuals violating traffic laws or those intent on committing crimes. 2021 saw the continued commitment by deputies assigned to Fountain Hills in ensuring compliance with traffic laws. Deputies conducted over 2,200 traffic stops, issuing more than 1,200 citations to drivers who committed violations. Deputies remained diligent in conducting added enforcement in the town's designated safety corridors, as well as residential areas with speed and safety related issues. MCSO deputies and command personnel demonstrated their department's mission of increased visibility and engagement through participation in community outreach and engagement activities such as taking part in the town's Make a Difference Day, the Fountain Hills Cares event, Fountain Hills Leadership Academy, the DEA Drug Take Back Initiative, partnering and participating in the Fountain Hills Drug Coalition meetings, guest speaking at local community groups and activities, just to name a few. 
The department was highly involved in the town's Traffic and Pedestrian Safety Committee and helped recommend and implement many strategies the group developed. The department will continue their focus on traffic enforcement to help decrease the number of accidents and increase the safety of residents and visitors in town. By working closely with the town's Traffic and Pedestrian Safety Committee, additional strategies will be developed to improve vehicle and pedestrian safety and awareness in Fountain Hills. The Town of Fountain Hills website and social media platforms are a trusted resource for all the information on programs and services provided by town departments. Follow the town on any of these social media sites or go to fountainhillsaz.gov to find what you are looking for. Thank you so much to the town manager and to the staff, public safety and council for, and our community, of course, for all that you do. We appreciate the creative talents who put the video together under the direction of Community Relations Director Manager Bo Larson. So even after seeing all those accomplishments that have happened over the year, the town's work is never done. So let's recap and preview what's ahead in 2022 and beyond. Planning. The Fountain Hills strategic plan is being updated. The community service uh, survey will be out soon, which will give us some extra direction. A law enforcement and fire services study is underway, as well as a facilities reserve study. Those and more help us make financially sound decisions, proactively addressing short and long-term budget impacts. We should always plan for that next rainy day changes in state shared revenue, in highway user revenue funds, and sales tax while tending to our everyday ongoing needs. Ordinances. 2021 proved that the town must address its ordinances proactively to maintain the quality of life in an ever-changing environment. Refining the fee waiver policy and implementing the sign and noise ordinances along with zoning refinement have occurred and will continue. We should be vigilant that proposals and law changes, such as with short-term rentals, which might negatively affect our community, are properly addressed. Over the years, the town has grown and attracted interest, and we've had a variety of inquiries that weren't specifically spelled out in our zoning codes, gaps that we have filled and that we're still working on. Staff and council has changed some zoning to allow mixed use and tackle the commercial property imbalance doing that rather than selectively incentivizing or supplementing specific enterprises that may or may not succeed. Facilities, parks, and trails. We will continue to address aging infrastructure and maintenance and enhancement of our shared community amenities. Investment and foresight, whether for upgrades or for new facilities, should continue to be our approach. We have to guarantee that our sig signature fountain lasts for another 50 years. Next, we'll talk about transportation a bit. Fountain Hills Road System is our single biggest asset, which requires preventative emergency and replacement investment. We must keep up in order to avoid future deficiencies, and this is clearly a financial need that must be addressed. We do anticipate options offered by our citizen-led committee. We have repaired miles of roads, with more to come that, to bring us to a standard that is sustainable. Uh, I'm of the opinion myself that we should use this federal funding to focus immediate attention on some pavement management. Um, again, with the advice from the Traffic and Pedestrian Safety Committee, we can do more to manage speeding through a comprehensive warning system and again, strong enforcement. Events and activities. This is the heartbeat of our town. Maintaining a community approach to the town's events and activities is a critical piece that we will seek to build on. New software programs can be helped to manage our parks and they're being identified. I continue to advocate for a downtown vibe, regularly scheduled fun activities like the fun music series that we talked about, keeping some of our traditional favorites by maybe, and also maybe creating some new ones. The 50th anniversary turned our focus to the history of Fountain Hills. As I did today, 
uh, talking about the R uh, rising above theme, I found myself using that book, which was co-authored by Alan Cruikshank, Jean Linzer, and Mayor Jerry Miles, who recently passed and cared deeply about this town, as a reference book. The council will look at ways to preserve our important documents, photos, and memories. We'll seek partnerships with the Times, the Museum, FHCCA, the schools, and other foundations of our community. For example, I see that the theater, service, and faith organizations, the food bank, and more will have much to offer in this effort. Growth. Someday we will reach build out. It might change our character and our resources, so we have to identify what that means once we get there. We should try to improve our access to the region with a public transportation solution, building on that. Economic development goes hand in hand with mobility even after the recent work at home scenarios made changes in the way we do business. We'll continue to try and streamline our building review, our permitting, and our inspection processes. And the town has improved code enforcement, which, which will likely expand. Advocacy. We will participate in important regional programs with MAG and the League, for, for example, and support that those that to support our goals, Fountain Hills goals, explore the impacts of undeveloped land, whether infill or the state trust land on future housing and on business opportunities. Fountain Hills will implement its, its approved legislative agenda this session, aimed to preserve neighborhoods and local decision making. Additionally, the town's intergovernmental agreements will be reviewed and approved for the benefit of all of us. Economic vitality. We will continue to focus on our health and wellness brand, including trails, parks, and an active outdoor lifestyle. We'll further explore international medical tourism, expanding on the Shea Corridor concept with Mayo Clinic and Honor Health. We have our dark skies. They attract astro tourists, and we're becoming, a, we're pursuing becoming a biophilic community, which is actually another Leadership Academy project. The community garden, our saguaro preservation and landscape replacement policies in place, and other existing efforts will align with SPAC's recommendation to add an environmental component to the strategic plan. Ensuring equal access to our amenities, excuse me, ensuring equal access to our amenities and accommodations following ADA regulations and working with the chamber, with realtors, the Greater Phoenix Economic Council and others will help us get the message out that we are open for business for all. And finally, we talk about leadership. We value qualified, committed community leaders who selflessly help guide us into the future. As I said in the beginning, we're all about people. Overall, a community that rises above challenges not only maintains, but innovates and grows. Rather than become paralyzed and cautious, we're fully engaged to keep pace with the many changes and opportunities coming our way. The methods of doing business are ever evolving, and we will adjust and excel. Our economic development staff and Councilwoman Grzbowski recently attended a GPEC meeting where they learned communities should prioritize lifestyle, quality of life, and wealth creation so that generations of families can participate in the same market and not have to move away. Further, they said people don't locate to places for companies or jobs the way they used to. They relocate to places that they want to live. Along those lines, we should continue with thoughtful growth, preservation of views, our appreciation of our wildlife, maintaining our safe, safe, wonderful, clean neighborhoods, along with working with our schools and our realtors and our businesses. So as you go about the rest of your day, I'd like to share personally that over the years, I've found that song lyrics can be comforting and inspiring. I quoted Randy Newman's Feels Like Home in our Fountain Hills Community Guide this year. Tupelo Honey sustained my family during my mom's illness. That's that uh, wonderful lyric, she's an angel, she's all right. The classic What a Wonderful World is my ringtone. Council members sang together, we'll walk in the rays of a beautiful sun at the Fountain Hills Theater's concert last spring. And during the pandemic, the words of Dan Fogelberg resonated in particular. There's a calm in the eye of every storm. There's a light in the depths of your darkness. Let it shine. So thank you for joining us in rising above and looking ahead together with confidence and optimism. Have a great day and thank you so much for coming.